Hey everybody, this is Eric D. Kirk for MamaWorld.com. In this project, I already applied a squash and stretch behavior to the first letter of the text to animate it. Now let's apply a second behavior to it. If we just apply it with the default settings, as you might expect, the letter jumps away from its position in the text. Let's quickly undo that and apply the behavior again, this time with the timing parameter set to end of behavior, since we want the animation to end up in this location. So we quickly check how long the behavior is using the work area button, then move to the desired end of the animation and apply the behavior. As you can see, now the resulting jump ends at the correct position. And even better, also the drop animation that happens before the jump has been shifted to the side as needed. This is as simple as it gets. Whenever you apply a behavior to a layer that is already animated, Squash and Stretch adjust the position of the existing animation as needed.